Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to this new video tutorial series that we are starting. In this video tutorial series, we will be building a CMS application uh, which is built using Angular 9, Bootstrap 4, and ASP.NET Core 3. Uh, ASP.NET Core 3.2 uh, to be precise because at the moment that's the latest version of .NET Core that is available. We have also used different JavaScript libraries which we will cover as the video tutorial series progresses in detail and all the source code for this project will be available uh, in my DevOps repo and the link for that DevOps repo will be provided in each video description. Now in this video tutorial series we are focusing on setting up our development environment so without wasting any further time let's start installing the required applications to build this project. So the first thing that we require to build this project is an IDE. So you are free to choose an IDE of your choice. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code and I'm going to use Visual Studio IDE. Now Visual Studio Code can be used when we will be building our Angular application, Angular part of the application and we will use Visual Studio IDE to build the ASP.NET Core part of the application which is our admin panel, the backend. If you are a student, I recommend you to sign up on jetbrains.com uh, and download the Rider IDE and if you are using Mac, it's a really powerful and good IDE, very fast and it's free for one year subscription if you are a student and I'm not sure if this offer is still valid but if you are a student you can try downloading it registering on JetBrains and try to use this IDE so you don't need to use Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio ID for Mac you can just use one ID really powerful and fast so up to you I'm going to download Visual Studio Code for Mac and Visual Studio IDE for Mac. So I have already downloaded these options here. So I'm going to extract these files and install this application on my Mac. So go ahead and download the, these two applications to start with. And once it's done, we can continue installing the other required applications. So now uh, on this screen, you will be provided with options on what you want to install with a Visual Studio Core, a Visual Studio IDE. I'm going to choose .NET Core since we are building a .NET Core application. Uh, if you want these other stuff, you can install them. But since we are focusing only on .NET Core, so I'm just going to install .NET Core. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, install this. So guys, the Visual Studio ID is installed and now go. let's go ahead and install Visual Studio Code. So as you can see, Visual Studio Code uh, can directly be launched from the application, uh, the unzipped application itself. So what we can do is we can just drag Visual Studio Code to our applications so that we have it available in our launchpad and we can use it whenever we want. So that should be it for this video tutorial uh, where we have installed the required IDs. In the next video tutorial, we will install MS SQL Server on our Mac operating system and I'll show you in step-by-step -step guide how to do that. So till then, stay tuned. Thank you.